Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a What's New Monday. So I have been getting things ready for the Christmas in July sale and the whole month of July we are going to have 15% off in my shop. So if you guys are watching things, July the whole month is going to be a fabulous time to buy. So, I have been creating, purchasing clip arts, and I am really excited about what I've created here, guys. I'm <laughs> really excited about this. I have a couple savings challenges. I have a couple lists. I have, hmm, I have a lot of stuff to show you. So, without further ado, let's get started. So... So I did a monthly budget. It does have the girl decorating the tree with the collie and the presents, and it's so super cute. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this one. So like in all my monthly budgets, and I printed out the whole thing, I shouldn't have, but I did. But um, you have the girl with the dog in all of them. It's the same artwork for all pages. But you have your calendar, you have your dashboard, you have your monthly budget spread. So you have your fixed variable, then you have your totals down here and your income up top. And then you have two paychecks, but you could always print out more if you could get more than one or two paychecks a month. So you could break your monthly budget down even further and go which paycheck pays what. So there's two of those. You get a transaction log for your paychecks. You get a sinking fund, and I did the whole page for the sinking fund of the artwork because I just thought it was super special and super pretty. So, yeah. I didn't want to block off any one thing, so I just made the whole page into the clip art. You also have a transaction log for your sinking funds. And then you have your two weekly check-ins. And, of course, the saying, keeping with the Christmas theme, is a Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas quote. What if Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store? What if Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more? I love Dr. Seuss. That is my favorite all-time. <sighs> the, the Grinch the Stole Christmas, the cartoon was originally my very favorite, but then when Jim Carrey came out with the How the Grinch Stole Christmas and he portrayed the Grinch, that plays on my TV every year, pretty much the entirety of the Christmas season. So, yeah. <laughs> I had to add that into my Christmas um, monthly budget. And I honestly think instead of using my regular Collie budget, I think this is the one I'm going to use for my Christmas. So, to go along with that theme, <clears throat> I did a couple more things. Now, right now, in my shop, these will be separate. But for... The... Um, Christmas in July deal, you will actually get the holiday shopping list that match the budget to go along with it. So you have a blank one, so if you want to use it for groceries or decorations or what have you. And then you also have one that says gifts after each line. So you can put Sally's gifts or Johnny's gifts or whatever. And if you have a puppy, you could put Fido's gifts, whatever. <laughs> Kitten, um, whatever your pet is, you could put their name there and their gifts. And again, you can print out as many of these as you want. Now... Right now in my shop, these are a combined printout. So you'll get both the one with the gifts and one without the gifts in the same purchase. So you can choose which one you want to print. But for the Christmas in July sale, I'm going to combine them as a pack so that you have the budget and the holiday shopping list that matches it all in one kit. So, yeah, these I just thought were super special and super pretty, and I wanted to create those and get those done up. 
Now I also did a slightly different one and I did not do a twofer on that one. I just did the one. So I purchased some more clip art and this little fashionista with her wrapping paper and her little Santa Claus headband. <laughs> that was absolutely adorable. So you got your holiday gift guide here and again you have spaces for six different people or six different you know things. Maybe you want to do your decorations, your grocery list for Christmas or the holidays, what have you. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas but you celebrate Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever it is that you celebrate, this holiday gift guide is kind of universal as is this holiday shopping. Although she does have a Christmas tree in this one, this one does not. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, you know, I know she has Santa Claus on her head, but <laughs> he, he kind of looks like an elf <laughs> or a gnome a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's cute. I thought it was cute. So this will be sold separately, obviously. It does not match this set, so it's a separate entity in my shop, and it's just the one page. I did not set it up to have gifts beside it or anything. I just kind of left it blank and went that route. So she, as beautiful as she is, is in the shop, and I've made her into a brunette. Now, to go along with this holiday gift guide, I made a savings challenge. Of course I did, right? savings challenges. Hello. So we have gift wrap savings challenge. I used her again and here you can see her a little bit better and see all the beautiful artwork. Absolutely stunning. Love it. But you're going to choose the amount each gift is worth and then you're just going to call her in that amount. So whether they're five dollars, one dollar, ten dollars, whatever you want to do that, you just choose the amount that they're equal to and then color it in and once you're done um, you have maybe you use this per person and you want to spend a certain amount on that person you have three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty two two three four five six seven eight two nine thirty three one three two three three four five six seven eight three nine forty four one two three four five six so you have forty six boxes here forty six presents to color in and if you save, you know, $1 per box, that's $46. $5 per box, you know, you just go up from there. But depending upon how much you want to save per person, or maybe you're saving for the full amount, maybe you're buying for the whole family or whatever, maybe you put $10 per box, that's $460. If that is your budget for Christmas, then that is your budget for Christmas. And that is a very good budget. <laughs> um, I've done many, many years on that kind of budget. But, um, at any way I digress. This would help keep track of your Christmas fund that way. Make sense? Yeah. But these two kind of go together and for the Christmas in July sale I will have them combined as a set or as well as these but they will also be in my shop separately as well. So if you want to buy them as a set you can for July but until July they will be separate in my shop. Now, the piece of de resistance, and I cannot talk, so ignore what I said. <laughs> so now, the final savings challenge, I kind of hinted to a little bit earlier when I was talking about the um, monthly budget. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes I did. So, are you ready for it? Oh, yep, that's right, I did it. The baby Grinch. <laughs> so we have the Merry Grinchmas Savings Challenge and you were going to decorate the Christmas cookies because we all know. I tried to find a Santa plate that we could call her in but I could not find one. So we're making cookies for the Grinch. You're going to save a total of $120 and it is in denominations of one, five, and ten dollars. So you will just call her in the Santa on each um, cookie, decorating the cookie for the baby Grinch. Oh my goodness, is he not the most fabulous little boy? Absolutely stunning. Love, 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 love. So this one is definitely going in my um, binder because I wasn't going to do a savings challenge for Christmas because I already have a 
<clears throat> envelope for Christmas. But after I seen this artwork, I couldn't not have a savings challenge. So he's fabulous. I love him. And I want to make him reusable so that I can use him quite a bit. <laughs> so I will be laminating him and putting him in my binder. But yeah, that is today's video. I know there is a lot in this video, but I wanted to share it with you guys. I could have broke it up into multiple videos, but I didn't. Because why would I do that when... I could share it all in one clip and you guys could enjoy a whole lot better. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying your Monday and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep cause I'm not tired. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine. When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky